Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to your daily lighting critique. Uh, we've got a handful of still images to go through here. I also wanted to start off with a couple of announcements. First off, I wanted to praise uh, Forrest. You've done an incredible job on the lighting challenge um, work in progress forum uh, or channel, I should say. Uh, there were some submissions. You gave a whole a huge amount of written feedback that was really valuable, and I just wanted to praise you for that. I thought that was really fantastic. Uh, number two, I don't know if you guys saw it, but we are very excited to announce that we are in development on a uh, lighting in Unreal course with uh, Jordan Jenkins, who you guys have seen around, who's made some incredibly beautiful images for the lighting challenges. He's also done um, done some work using unreal on some projects and I just thought he would be a really great resource to teach all of us myself included uh, lighting in unreal a little bit so I'm really excited for that so we're developing that as we speak um, all right so let's go ahead and hop into these critiques so I'm going to go through these in reverse order but one thing I forgot there was a question in the forum about color space and that is incredibly difficult I want to tell you that there is like one system of color space settings. Like if you just always use sRGB on everything, then you know that it's always going to look the same. But in my experiences, it can get a little janky. Um, eventually you do kind of find your rhythm with it. Uh, I will advise everybody to take a look, but, but even if you have all the settings totally right in your computer, what can happen is your monitor can get old, it can get weathered, it can get worn down, uh, somebody could come in and mess with your settings, um, and it can just mess with you. So my encouragement to you is even if you have all the settings properly set up and in the color space the same between Photoshop and Nuke and uh, your renderer and all that, go ahead and make sure that you're checking your work on multiple monitors because it does make a difference, especially like nighttime or super dark stuff, you really want to be checking that to make sure. Like I know on my monitor here, um, uh, it's a little more lifted, I think, than uh, some other monitors. So I always want to make sure that any like dark level, if I'm just trying to get like a real subtle shadow uh, that's like really dark, but not totally black, uh, that I check that against a couple monitors to make sure that that is reading as that. Um, again, lame answer, but that's... Uh, but that's that's how I would I would do that. But in terms of like the color space stuff, I th I think as long as you it sounds like you guys have a solution, so I'll let you just roll with that. But as long as you keep like check the settings in Photoshop in Nuke in like as long as you have the same color space and you're kind of working the same um, between all those different formats, it should be pretty translatable. But uh, if you guys are having still having issues, then definitely throw them in the help forums and and we can take a look there. Okay, so let's hop into the. Uh, images, so uh, good update here, Pearl. I, like I said, I'm going in reverse alphabetical order today. Um, the biggest thing that I noticed when I was looking at this one was just, I like that it looks like the color on the background is a little different, it's like steely, cool blue, uh, totally fine. I do think that like we need to we need to vary up the intensity back there a little bit, and it's almost like because it's a flat wall, having it be kind of consistent all the way across is a is, is going to be not great because it just kind of flattens it out. So it'd be great to like get a light blocker or something just off camera that can cast a shadow perhaps over here and again over here. So like it kind of helps frame her up a little bit or inverse wise, actually maybe if there's a shadow that kind of like comes in here and then goes back behind her or something that will allow her lighter values to pop up over the darker background. But something in there to create light to dark uh, variation on that large flat wall because you just want to anytime you have a large flat surface like that you just want to create like an undulation of light and shadow to kind of break it up a little bit i'm looking at some of these objects in the uh, foreground here uh, it looks like there is some edging issues um, and sometimes you'll see that if like you see that there's like a hard edge but they're kind of out of focus um, lots of times you'll see that if you're using render layers and like you'll put a depth of field blur on some of the render layers, but another one will sneak through um, that's not actually blurred. So I would check that. You're getting really nice shaping in these flowers in here. I think that's looking really nice. Uh, it would be nice even depending on where they are, just to get like a little touch more shaping on these. Um, and then in terms of her lighting, I am 
Liking that we're getting more directionality out of the light. I think that's looking really nice. The colors overall are looking pretty good. The, these potted flowers here are getting a little bit bright, so just watch out for that. Also a little bit of a burnout right there. But um, but the overall tonality and like everything that you've got going together is really good. Um, similar to that back wall, it would be nice to maybe get like uh, a little more shadows in some of these areas just to kind of create some more undulation there. And lastly, uh, one of the one of the biggest things that I'm seeing from um, from Prisha is that where she's most successful is when we're able to get some of her uh, some more detail stuff into her specular. Like you're seeing mostly around her eyes. Like we're seeing it in um, Annabelle's here around her eyes, and also um, who's oh and Nigel's I think. Yeah, a little bit around the eyes there. Aaron, a little bit smoother there. Where'd that go? Yeah, Clarissa had it. So like right up in here around the eyes and getting that kind of level of detail up in there really, really helps her stand out a little bit. So try and just um, get a little more detail in, in the skin by hitting it with some specular light on the fill side to kind of really kind of pick up a couple of those little tiny wrinkles, if you, if you can. All right, Nigel. Uh, this is looking a lot better. I think that the light rays, um, it would be nice if there's a little more variation in them, if there was like a little bit brighter up here towards the top and they faded off. Um, also, they're a little bit heavily saturated. I would pull back a touch on the saturation on those. Um, you also have some really nice, like I really like what's going on in the, the arm here. Like it's, she feels very wrinkly squishy which is a, uh, a technical term, I think. <laughs> um, but uh, one thing you want to watch out for is you've got some dark lines around the edges here. Uh, just look into that, figure out if something's going on in there in the comp. Also, there's a contact shadow underneath these, which is like really, really dark. And uh, we're just not seeing that level of darkness anywhere else, so I would just watch out for that. Um, this looks good here. It, it doesn't quite... I don't know if this is on top in... Uh, Photoshop or something, but it just like is, this doesn't quite feel like it's at the scale it should be at. Like this feels like it should be a little bit bigger and more wrapped around a little bit. Um, just just a slight slight bit bit larger there. In terms of her lighting, uh, she's looking good. This area is getting too bright, like because if the sun's kind of coming in and hitting her, like you can see it picking up on her screen right side. Oh, wait, this is the previous version, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, previous version versus updated version. Sorry about that. All right, still black lines there. Um, most most of those notes still apply. Um, but yeah, this side, this side of her is getting too bright, and what we want is to feel because it's it's coming in from behind her. Um, so we want to feel it kind of hitting the edge there. Um, this side of her hand is getting a little bit too bright too. I really like the reflection that we're getting on the ground. I think that looks good. Some of these values in the, the wrinkles looks really nice. And again, like the specularity on her arm. Um, same thing with their shirt. It's kind of like, it's getting a little bit washed out here towards like a lot, a lot of light coming in from the back. And we really kind of maybe want to allow some of these areas in the back side to get a little bit darker. Um, same thing here, darkness underneath these. Um, pots the flowers are looking they're looking pretty good I like those um, and then watch out for there's like something reflecting in the lower part of her eye that's cutting right through her pupil you may want to pull that out of the reflection um, but yeah I think that's looking really good it's really good progress you're making there all right Mindy so with this one I still think we can uh, the background looks better. I think maybe it, it might be just a matter if you can get in here and darken, uh, maybe try that, like the areas between the bricks, just to create a little more difference there. I think that'll help add a level of detail. Um, her reflection looks good in here. I would add a little more orange in the eyes because that's like kind of the glowy element around the edge. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Flowers are looking good. The, these like bright petals are getting a little bit too bright. I would tone those down. I would continue to soften that shadow a little bit, still a little bit firm. Uh, but this is looking uh, really, really, really great in through here. And then, yeah, again, still kind of a hard shadow coming along here, down here, and then down there. Um, just soften that up a little bit. But yeah, good shaping on the baskets, good shaping on her. 
Um, the same thing with what I was saying in Pearls about getting uh, some more specular light to maybe try and pick up some more detail in her skin. Again, keeping her... I, I think the term is going to be wrinkly squishy is what we want from her um, in that Mama Coco context. So just, just picking up the wrinkles just a little bit more. Uh, Hannah, great stuff here. Uh, love the, the, the light slashing down. Um, a few major, a few things that I would work on. Number one is I would take this line and shift it out just a little bit more because I want it to kind of like not penetrate her head. I want it to frame the outside of her a little bit more. Um, so that's number one. Number two is the light, the way that it's hitting her is pretty, it's a little bit more frontal than what we want. Um, so I would I would kick it around a little bit more that side and then just allow um, uh, just allow for a little more shaping, allow a little bit more darkness on her far screen left side. Um, and then and then the other one too is like if you're getting this much light hitting the ground here, you're gonna get a lot of bounce light. So a lot of bounce light up underneath here. Um, and the way that I would do that is if you're not getting it from your render inherently, I would put an area light down here that's bouncing up underneath to kind of fill in some of these areas. Uh, and I think that that will help out a lot. Then the last thing that I would do would be encouraging you to put more, um, a little bit more saturation into both of the, the key light area and the fill light area. So in the key light area, I would make this warmer. And in the fill light area, I would cool, like just looking at over here, I would cool this off. Oh. Did a bad job of that. There we go. Um, so in this area, I would, I would push it more into the blues. Maybe something along that. So you can see like there's, there's just so there's a little bit more contrast between those two areas and it'll really help us focus in on the warmer, the warmer central location. So uh, I would do that and then I would go from there. So this is looking good in here. I like, uh, I like these two shots. I do think that we can go perhaps a little bit warmer in the trees. Like I do think that we can push those just like a little bit more into that value and i think that that will help out a lot i think she's looking pretty good i think maybe we could push that well, looks good there it's just in this further out shot maybe just pushing a little bit more of the let's see it's funny <laughs> a little more key light onto her garments just so they get a little bit brighter. Ignore that brightness on her collar. But I think adding just like a touch bit more uh, brightness on her on her jacket, especially, will really help out a lot. But yeah, I think she's looking good otherwise. And then, eh, let's see in the close up. You know, maybe it's a matter. Let's see. Of just darkening her irises a little bit more. It's a little bit contrasty, but just a little, a slight darkening will will help that out a little bit, especially on the screen right side, which is the opposite side of the key light. Um, just create a little bit more shaping in there. They're a little bit too perfect. And then her, she has like the kind of like this brownish tone in the eyes as well. Um, I'm wondering if it makes it feel a little bit too much like a marble and not like, not like an eye, but I'll let you decide that that's more of an art direction thing. But, um, but I think darkening them a little bit will, will help them pop out a little bit. So I think that's good. Yeah. But other than that, I think you're in a really good spot there. All right, Clarissa. So I think I think that the, I would call this one 
uh, pretty good because I think it is matching the reference nicely. I think you've got, and you hit those notes well, like you've got more of a contact shadow against the chair, which is really helping out a lot. Um, and uh, and yeah, so I think I think what I would do for you is out because because this this lighting setup does match the reference really really well. I do think that you can go with something a little more dramatic as the lighting as a whole because this is. Um, uh, although this is this is matching the scene really well, I think I think what you can do is is basically do something um, that that makes her pop a little more from the surroundings. Maybe you know, like maybe something at nighttime, um, maybe something with a window off camera. Just just a very different lighting setup than what we're seeing here. Uh, mostly, I'm saying that because that will play really well on a demo reel uh, when you're, especially when you have this one that can match your reference so well. The next step would be to bring in another shot with another reference and showing that you can completely change the look of a shot and the feeling and the emotions of a shot just through the lighting. So I would maybe pull another Mama Coco scene and then, but 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 have but keep everything else exactly the same and match to that. If that, that would that would be my advice. I, I do think that this is working out pretty well overall. All right, Ashley. So uh, again. Same thing that we were saying uh, in a couple of the other ones, just try and get some more of these smaller uh, details and the specularity on the face, uh, if you can. Uh, I like, I, I think this shot is really starting to come together in terms of the composition. I do think that there is more room to add a little bit more bounce in, in some of these fill values here, but I do, uh, I think that, that everything else is structuring out pretty well. I would move her eye things to the top part of her eye, uh, just to kind of keep it off that edge. I think that'll help and ground looks a lot better love this fall off across the rug there um and i do think hmm let me look around for some more reference i'm wondering if we can't get some more value i think we can push the value a little stronger on these garments especially uh these purple ones and then uh if you can get some more specularity on like the the golden parts of the garments in the shadow, I think that would help out. Like the, the the shaping on this one here, really strong stuff. I would maybe push the key light on this one a little bit stronger and then try and get a little key light on that guy too. Uh, the tree looks a lot better. The tree's looking really good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And, hmm. Yeah, I, I, would, I would do that and then, yeah, and then go from there. We'll see what that looks like. But really strong stuff there. Annabelle, uh, love it overall. Uh, I've looked at the, we got the original versus, oh, original versus where we are now. Um, that's the, now, this is the original. Uh, I, I would do two other things. One, and I already kind of mocked these up. One is I would, um, again, with this hair under here, I think you did a really good job of brightening it on the edge, like if you look against the original. I like that little slight bit more brightness on the edge, but the core can get a little bit darker. I would wanna see it like that, right? So it's still kind of getting, it's still getting that purple, but it's like, it's matching what's happening in the rest of the shadow. So let me just AB that again, so you can see that. Just darkening that area down just a touch. And then I thought maybe we could go a little bit cooler in those shadows at the top yeah it might be a little strong let's take this down just a little bit more but just like a touch 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 more saturation and that's it and same thing with clarissa's just doing this again but as a nighttime scene as you know like if she's you know maybe she's using these flowers in some sort of evil potion or something and trying to get that to, to read as well just to tell a different story but this is really 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 strong work uh, Aaron, okay, yeah, same deal. Definite improvement over your previous iterations. I'm feeling that brightness. Look at look at how much those bright hits on the the car back there are helping out, right? Like that just really kind of it just expands the world as a whole. So, and you've got uh, better light values. The ground's working a little bit better. Um, everything's starting to really come together there. I do see the more specularity on her skin. I think that's great. If you could use that again. Um, it's a little bit strong on the chin in here, but I kind of want to see it a little bit more, like picking up some more wrinkles in there if possible. It's a little sharp in there too, so just watch out for that. 
Um, this arm can get a little bit more saturated. It's kind of like I, I want it to match this value, even though it's not quite in the key light. I think the tone, um, I'm sorry, the hue can be a little bit more uh, matched into that. And then I'm wondering to take a step back from this. I'm wondering if in these fill values, if there wasn't like a little bit more, because like, again, you got this super bright thing here. Um, I'm wondering if they wouldn't be served to be a slight bit warmer. Hmm, hold on. Sorry, that's not, I think I didn't quite copy that right. There we go. There we go. All right, so like something more like this versus just like the pure blue, because it would just like, just kind of tie it into this bright spot underneath it. So in a couple of these regions, just get, just like, again, if it's, if you're not getting it in your core renderer, just put like an area light down there just to push a little bit more of that warm bounce light in there. Um, and then eye dings, again, super minor, but just flip those over to the other side. They'd be more in here, like to match the key light coming down. Uh, but, 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 but everything else is looking pretty good. And then maybe, 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 maybe just get a little more value up underneath that truck. Just like a touch. Uh, all right. Well, I think that is all for today. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. But I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I can't believe we're getting towards the end of November. It's insane. Um, I hope all of you that are in the States and celebrating Thanksgiving are getting your food ordered because I am pumped for it. It's just going to be... Uh, me, my wife, and my two kids, but I'm going ahead and making a 12-pound turkey because it's just what I do. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy lighting, everybody.